One of the things that I talk with my students um, and the schools and communities that I work with is about the importance of context and really knowing who it is that you're working with and where you're working. Um, I also talk with them about the ability to be flexible um, that I think any context that you work in um, you have to think about that particular community, the particular people, the issues, the challenges that they faced, and so your particular way of leading may change depending on that context or that situation. So that's been really successful um, for me in working with schools and communities. I think also um, just getting people to understand that they have to be able to acknowledge and respect the communities that they're working with, to understand the diversity um, that's reflected within that community. Um, I also talk with my students about about understanding that regardless of all of the challenges that those communities face, that there are strengths and that we've had over 500 years of acculturation, um, oppression, difficult situations, and yet our communities persist. So they're real strengths. And I think that the key to, to successful leadership or the key to leading in an ethically and morally right way is to really understand that you need to take the lead from those communities that you're working from and to really build on the strengths of those communities and to engage them in being able to respond to particular situations.